Hey everybody, we have finally gotten some progress on the mysterious golden potato. I'm gonna tell you what to do with it today. First things first, go get your potato out of storage. If you don't have the potato already, I'll link a video right here on the screen of how to go get it. But don't make the same mistake I did of going to the first location I'm about to show you and not having your potato, so go grab it right now. Okay, now that we all have our golden potatoes, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head to Merlin's house. You'll notice with this new update, there's now this open book on the table that shows a potato inside of this symbol on the left page and on the right page, it's one, two, three, three, four. These are transfiguration stones, so we need to find all four of them. So first, we're gonna head down to Dazzle Beach and we're gonna go into the cave. Here it is on the map. Run all the way down, I think until like the second floor and you'll see the first stone sitting right here. So go ahead and transfer your golden potato into that. And it's gonna transform it into a golden carrot. How cute. <laughs> so then just pick that up. It says the golden potato has transformed into a golden carrot. What other potentials could this strange item hold? So now we're gonna head to location number two. Head to Elsa's cave at the Frosted Heights slash I guess kind of forest of valor it's right here on the map go inside and right in the front on that table is going to be stone number two we're going to put our now golden carrot into here you can see it's the only item that will go into these and it's going to turn it into a golden crab a carrot to a crab who knows what it will turn into next if you find another transfiguration stone well we're going to stone number three is going to be at the very top of the dream castle next to the fountain go all the way to the top and if you're facing towards the exit on the left side you'll see it on the edge of the balcony right here put our golden crab in and it's gonna turn it into a golden night thorn. This night thorn emanates weird magic. It must be nearing completion. The fourth and final stone is actually the one we originally saw back in Merlin's house. So wherever you have Merlin's house on the map, head back there now. We love a quirky little quest like this that starts and finishes at the same place where the starting point is also the ending point. So head back here, put your night thorn back onto the stone and it's gonna pop you out a nice little gold gleaming potion. At the time of posting this video, we as a community have not figured out what to do with this potion. Nobody knows. I've noticed every time I finish making a video, cause obviously it takes me a while to make these videos, someone has cracked the code. So hopefully you'll see a video from me soon or maybe we'll be stuck again for months. We don't really know. Make sure to drop a like on the video if this did help you out and subscribe if you're new for not only tons of other guides and content, but updates on this specific quest line, Mysterious a secretive quest line as they come out. I'll post new videos. Thank you so very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.